and you were over in South Korea for Samsung Unpacked. And your one of your big observations was uh, Qualcomm had quite a show. Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty incredible. Um, so let me first talk about. I spent the week with Samsung. Really got unprecedented access. I mean, met with some of the top line leaders, the leader of the mobile business, uh, TM Rowe, the chief executive officer for uh, North America, which is their largest geo, uh, the leader of cross business um, experiences. I mean, it just, it's one thing to look at a press release, look at a video. It's another thing to go on the corporate headquarters. First of all, largest semiconductor uh company that's out there and uh next to apple the largest consumer electronics uh, company i toured facilities that were deemed uh previously uh super secret and you know quite frankly samsung needed to open up a little bit right you have people uh invited to apple spaceship now you know, I, you get view of very manicure. I've been to the spaceship before. It's cool, but it's very processed. I ate lunch with employees at uh, Samsung HQ. And the quality of it really reminded me of, of kind of a Google, Google uh, Microsoft type of campus. I mean, young people, uh, the energy that was there, workout rooms, ping pong tables, resource groups it was uh super uh super impressive but there was a major uh announcement and uh, samsung brought out the galaxy z flip 5 the galaxy z fold 5 and the galaxy tab s9 series and they also brought out a watch 6 but um the you know the big surprise was that qualcomm was in the tab s9 now there's always rumors you're seeing of, oh, you know, on the smartphone, they're going to go back uh, and, and Samsung is going to put their own silicon in it uh, after this big strategic announcement that Samsung and Qualcomm made uh, about a year ago. But um, Qualcomm ran the table uh, with the top two uh, foldable uh, smartphones. It's also great to see uh, met up with Alex Gattuzian. Uh, who runs the mobile XR PC and wearables business there? Also had a good time, uh, spent some time with uh, Kedar Kundap, which uh, we both know runs the uh, PC business. It is fun when you're 24 hours away and you bump into people that uh, you knew uh, in the US. It was interesting. Uh, again, this is home field advantage for Samsung. This is not a Qualcomm announcement, but when they announced that Snapdragon was going into the tablet, the everybody cheered. And, you know, I mean, it, it, these weren't influencers from Qualcomm, right? These were uh, people who are super excited to get uh, that level of, of technology in there. One thing I wanted to point out about the foldables was uh, everybody's talking about this 100 million unit for foldables and again kind of squishy is it 2025 26 27 it likely uh, precipitates uh, or is based a, a little bit upon apple uh getting into it but i gotta tell you man these devices every uh every generation is just getting uh better and i i can see not just based on price point although the price point of the uh, of the flip is amazing uh, the more people using it and all the research that I've seen suggests that this is the one thing that Samsung is doing that is pulling people over from the Apple ecosystem. And there I have it. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm muting myself because of the echo. No, no, I was just checking to make sure you were done. Um Look, I, this is a little bit exclusive to what I, I was able to see from afar. But what I can say, Pat, is Samsung and Qualcomm is a very, very promising uh, partnership. And while it's obviously sometimes tough when you're Samsung to take the L on Exynos and acknowledge it, I think the Snapdragon uh, 
silicon in their devices make some very, very powerful devices. Now, watching you from afar, I got to admit, I was a little jealous seeing you play with these new, getting your hands on some of these new foldables. I have one here. Crease is pretty darn fat. See that crease? I do. I mean, I that means you must be using it then. I hear it's getting better, um, but I'm really, this is the, uh, you know, I still use this 21. Still really like it. Um, big fan. So, you know, look, sometimes it makes sense. It's the same thing we saw with Apple, Pat. I mean, the, the, the iPhones worked better with the Qualcomm Silicon in it. It just did. And that was not uh, Samsung, but it was Intel. But at the time, sometimes you got to acknowledge when you've got the right, uh, the right partnerships and the right solutions. I think Samsung plus Qualcomm makes a really good marriage. Um, I won't lie, though. Um, I am glad I didn't go. I'm, I'm not upset to not be jet lagged. I'm not upset to have spent my time here gallivanting around New York and, and, and you know, seeing my giant melon on TV talking about Google earnings. So let's go ahead and. Uh, I mean, I mean, the victory laps. I mean, I felt like I was there with you. 